So the next thing we're going to go through real quick is icons again. Um, I've showed you how to create them and all that stuff, um, but let's learn how to save them and actually load them so they show up every single time we launch Pix to the site. So you can go in and you can find your processes. Either you can use your process explorer and find them, and you know you can find stuff like uh, uh, your histogram transformation tool and you can launch it that way. Um, you can also go to processes and all processes and find it under here under histogram transformation tool. And once you have it, you can uh, drag it and drop it onto your uh, desktop because this is called the desktop in PixInsight. And you can create all your icons that you want. And then uh, you can label them um, histo and um, call them anything you want and create a bunch of icons. So. Um, I've got icons that I've created, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete this. And in here, you can just right-click on the desktop anywhere, it doesn't matter. And then you can go to Process Icons and choose Load Process Icons. So we'll just load my icons. So these are my icons that I use. And once you get all the icons set up that you want, you can highlight them all. And as long as all those icons are highlighted, you can just right-click on it and then choose um, Save selected icons and you can save it to a file wherever you want and call it whatever you want um, you know um, I'd recommend stick it like maybe in your documents folder or somewhere where you're always going to go to it so we can just call this icons uh, dot xpsm even though I have the original one is just called new so we'll I'll, I'll just call them icons because that's what they are and honestly what these are is I should just call them what they are mono icons so this is the icons that I use when I'm working on mono um, images and stuff. So that's how you save your icons. The problem is if you close PixInsight and reopen it, you don't get any icons again. So the icons are gone. So there's a way to set it up so you can actually load those icons and view them uh, every single time that you open up the application. So to do that, we'll go ahead and close out of PixInsight real quick. So on an, on an Apple computer, um, you're going to just go to your Applications folder and find where the application is installed. On Windows, you're going to go to your C program files, Picks Insight, uh, and then inside there, you're going to have an Etc. folder, and then under the Etc. folder, um, you're going to go to Startup, and there's a Startup SCP. On Ubuntu or Linux, um, it's going to be, uh, I can't remember where it installs it off the top of my head. It, I can't remember if you install it in your home directory. Um, or if it installs it into uh, uh, the bin folder, but you can find it. Um, there's there's information out on the internet about it. But once you get to Pix Insight folder, your startup and then your startup SCP, you can open it up. Uh, I like to use Atom to edit files and stuff like that, so I can put in uh, whatever I want. So in here, this is the startup script when Pix Insight is launching. So if you scroll to the very bottom. Um, usually about line 194, 195, wherever the last and if is, um, you can put in the following command. So let me open up my notes and cheat sheet over here. So in here, I call that mono icons. Mono icons. And you're basically going to put in this text right here, dot open. In this case, it's my C users, or whatever, C. <laughs> I'm not on Windows, I'm on Apple. So open users. Joey Troy, Documents, and then the Mono Icons. And I can double check if I go to my Documents folder that I have it called Mono Icons. So you just want to make sure wherever you put it, if you're on a Windows computer, it's uh, C Users, uh, and then your username, and then your Documents folder, and then the file where you saved your uh, icons. So once you get that all done, you want to go ahead and just save it real quick. Uh, and that'll take care of it and then you close it and then at this point you can just uh, you don't need Adam open or my notes and you can just open up PixInsight and then when PixInsight opens it'll load all your icons so that's how you save icons and how you load icons within PixInsight again uh, hopefully this is helpful and uh, we'll see what other crazy stuff I create in the days to come